Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to North Shore News Corner. We are live this evening, which is March 20, 2019. I don't know what happened in January and February, but this is the end of March. This is incredible. Time is sliding through the fingers. And there is no S-N-O-W. But we have rain. Uh, so uh, we, we need to have that for flowers, but I think Mother Nature is getting really carried away with all these floods. It's really, really uh, uh, unbelievable, the places. And here in Illinois, I believe it was Roscoe, Illinois, really was flooded unbelievably. So uh, I, I ask you uh, um, uh, to find a place in your heart that if the rain Some of the people that are down there. Um, I do everything on volunteer basis myself, so um, I I feel very badly. These people have lost everything, right here in Illinois, right here in Illinois. Okay, um, and so for your information, we are doing um, uh, a month of uh, um, uh, ownership uh, businesses here uh, and around in Highland Park. And uh, a gentleman that I've had on the program uh, uh, much too far away a long ago, uh, uh, Jean uh, Klopis. And Jean uh, is a most unique uh, uh, gentleman in, in his business, for sure. And let me just add a hearty congratulations to Jean and his beautiful bride. Today is their uh, 25th wedding anniversary. They're both in the studio here with me. And uh, we wish them a lot of luck, best happiness, and long life and health to you both. Thank you. And so without any further ado, uh, let me uh, introduce uh, to you uh, Jean uh, Klumpus. Uh, Jean, uh, this is a most... Uh, unique business and when you were on <laughs> 20 years ago that was a long time kiddo uh, uh, you, you really uh, have uh, a most unusual uh, um, merchandise uh, situation for uh, not only uh, a Highland Park but you're located in Vernon Hills and so that's in the area Highland Park Vernon Hills Deerfield, we'll be having people um, from all over, and uh, uh, just to uh, let you know that uh, unique is what it is when you see it. So, let I'll, Jean, I'm going to let you do the talking, um, and I'm just going to ask some questions like, um, uh, how did you get started in this? And we're talking about cufflinks, cufflinks. Uh, are they still used? Uh, I know years ago, French cuffs were always in style. But how did you get started in this to make cufflinks and not just uh, the buttons for the buttonhole? Well, my interest in cufflinks dates way back when I was a teenager. I saw an uncle who was always well-groomed. Mm. Uh, I saw him wearing cufflinks. And as a 13-year-old kid, I... I, I was mesmerized by these cufflinks, and uh, uh, that, that is the beginning of my interest in cufflinks. In fact, when he passed away, he gave me that particular pair of cufflinks. Wow, that was very he nice. He left it for me. Uh, I, I'm involved in cufflinks much more than just in my business, but cufflinks are also my hobby uh, and my collectible. In fact, cufflinks are both a collectible and a wearable. Uh, Many people collect cufflinks uh, and, and have collections of four, five, six hundred, seven hundred pairs of cufflinks and more. Does that mean that they don't use them? They just uh, collect them and uh, some, for show? Some collectors don't wear them. Hmm. They just enjoy collecting them. Uh, others collect and, and, have, should, yeah. and, and wear also. Wear, yeah. And uh, so where, where did you start this... Uh, this uh, this business of yours, how 
Where did you get it started from? Well, I'm, I'm an attorney and uh, worked for a local insurance company uh, and did a lot of traveling. And uh, everywhere I traveled to, uh, I would look up in pawn shops or flea markets, oh. garage sales, yes. uh, and retail stores too, of course. Uh, for interesting cufflinks which I would purchase and when I uh, when I retired from from my professional work uh, I had all these wonderful cufflinks and spoke mm -hmm. with my wife and we decided we should go in the cufflink business wow. and that was the genesis of our website oh I see I see uh, and you speak about a website so uh, if you could let us know what your website is. Yes, our website is justcufflinks.com. Justcufflinks.com. It's all one word, justcufflinks.com. Yes. And so uh, on the website, we, you, we could see uh, when we look on there all the Yes, styles. there are over 10,000 pairs of cufflinks on the Holy website. Cow. Our inventory is over a hundred thousand pairs as, Incredible. as we speak and they cover a variety of subjects and interests and themes and uh, everything from sports to animals uh, to to religious items uh, you've got one of a kind on pretty much everything because uh, uh, people who connect with you that's their idea of what they want you know, uh, on their, what do people do if they don't have French cuffs? What do you do? Well, there are shortcuts for people that don't have French cuff shirts. How do they do that? They remove the button. They remove the button of part of the From, cuff yes. and create a slit where the button was. And if they have a handy spouse or a handy friend or a handy themselves, they can stitch that so, slit yeah. and they can make a modified French cuff shirt. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, but once you do that, then it's going to be French cuffs. You won't be able to, that's right. to use a button back there. That's right. Now, the button is, uh, is faster and a cleaner kind of uh, way of you know, putting your arm through a, a sleeve of a jacket. But the French cuffs always uh, denoted uh, you know, uh, integrity, uh, culture, uh, upper class, very, very nice. You mentioned, you, you mentioned, Bev, that uh, are people still wearing cufflinks? Yeah. And they are very much wearing cufflinks. Uh, young people are, are also excited about cufflinks. Many women are wearing cufflinks. Uh, and cufflinks are being worn not just by professional people or business people, they're being worn across the population. Hmm. Uh, so, uh, is it just in the United States, or where 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 do you uh, promote the, your uh, cufflinks? I mean, do they go out of the co out of country? Yes, we we have we have patrons all over the world: uh, England, Australia, Finland, Sweden, virtually everywhere in the in the world. Mm. Uh, there is a universal interest in cufflinks. And um, you say, I, I asked before if you uh, have a, an amount, a small you know, run or a large run, but uh, what's the largest uh, amount on one set of cufflinks that you've made? Well, we can, many of the cufflinks that, that, we, that we offer to the public mm -hmm were manufactured elsewhere okay. uh, by, by cufflink manufacturers. We buy, we buy those, we buy collections, and we also make cufflinks. Okay. And we can make any quantity. Uh, we, we, we have customers who, uh, for an association, for example, might order a hundred or more pairs of yeah. cufflinks, and the next day somebody ordered one pair. I one, mean, yeah. it's, it's the nature of the business. Yeah. That's incredible. Um, does it uh, take long to produce? How from the get go? I mean, when someone contacts you, uh, how long does it take from beginning to end? It depends. It's a very good question. It depends on the 
the the ingredients, if you will, the ing what the cufflink is going to be made out of, okay. it be a precious metal or plastic or, or or whatever material, determines and the design too, determine the length of time it takes to make it. Simple things we're able to turn around in a week sometime. Wow. Uh, other things wow. may take three four weeks. Uh, do you uh, do you sell to jewelry stores? We have some jewelry stores. Uh, who buy from us uh, and have over the years. Uh, the truth is that we offer the, uh, such a large variety. Yeah. It, mm. it, it makes us a good source. So if somebody wants um, uh, cufflinks that, uh, with a shiny metal, but it's not a precious metal, uh, I mean, do they last, Gene, or is it preferable to get the uh, you know, the pure uh, metal. Well, there's nothing like the pure metal, but yeah. modern methods en enable cufflinks to be plated, but, but plated in, in a modern way where the plating stays on the cufflink. Oh. Uh, you, you can buy, we offer plated cufflinks that are of good quality. Good. And will last over the years. Um, uh, and I would imagine that the price uh, would be appropriate to whatever the material is. So, exactly. you know, if you're ordering uh, gold cufflinks um, uh, and whether 10 or 14 karat, or do you go any higher than the 14 karat gold? There are occasional calls for 24 karat and things higher than mm. 14 or 18 karat. Frankly, the majority of cufflinks sold today uh, are, are less than uh, 18 karat gold. So, uh, I mean, and the wearability, I mean, you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, if your uh, hands are, you know, wet and that it might leave a thumbprint or something. It's got, uh, it's got a, a, a varnish or something to it that... Uh, Yes, there are finishes that go over the face of a cufflink okay. to protect against that. Uh, you can't protect against tarnish, tarnish on sterling yeah. silver, but yeah. the quality silver polishes do a wonderful job. Okay, so uh, that would just be something, you know, because I suppose uh, because of the tarnishing, um, the, the air, uh, you can't stop that, but, uh, you know, how do you... How do you keep them after you polish them? What do you? Would you believe that there are uh, papers, treated papers, small squares, one-inch squares, that when put into a, a sterling silver package but, yeah. will prevent tarnishing? Really? Yes. Gene, I don't know. This is <laughs> this is above uh, my thinking <laughs> because uh, you know. I'm back in the old days uh, where, you know, uh, uh, if, you know, uh, sterling silver was, you know, uh, yeah, even on platters or plates or whatever, and if it starts, you know, uh, the air uh, on it, uh, yeah, they, you, have to, you have to polish it and uh, keep it in plastic and whatever. Um, that's incredible, really. Today's methods are better. I would imagine so, absolutely, absolutely. I think uh, the population is uh, um, more advanced uh, in thinking uh, that, you know, why are you spending time polishing whatever when if you say you could just drop this little one by one inch square into a, a, a bag, a plastic bag or whatever, and it, does it, uh, retard the growth of the uh, finish, or does it uh, stop? No, it's harmless. To, it's harmless to the finish. Okay. I can't speak for large pieces, for pitchers or, or yeah. trays or okay. platters. I can't speak to that. No. But for a cufflink, given cufflink. its small size, uh, it's not an issue. Well, I can imagine that if they do it for something as delicate as these um, items that 
it would be a larger portion that would be for a candelabra or a platter, right. a silver platter. And, you know, 25th anniversary, that's silver. So, uh, yeah, that would be uh, a going thing. Yeah. <clears throat> um, we offer a, a lot of vintage cufflinks also. We have a reputation for vintage cufflinks. And um, I, I enjoy working with the vintage. <coughs> these, excuse me, I have to hold up because these are incredible. <laughs> Hot and cold. Uh, and it's a Kenneth Cole from New York. I don't know if anybody can see that. Uh, let's see. <coughs> These are um, knobs, little knobs. Spigots. Spigots. <laughs> yeah. For washers, uh, you know, for a washer, uh, a um, sink. <coughs> uh, tell us some more. Uh, <coughs> let me just, uh, there, there they go. There's hot, here's cold. It's this incredible. These are just, uh, these are not only cute and adorable, but <clears throat> they serve a wonderful purpose uh, because uh, if you're in the plumbing line or selling to <clears throat> hotels or whatever, I mean, that's your calling card, really. Yes. What other pieces do you have that are unique i mean that's unique and you did mention about the one with the baseballs that was incredible yes that's a very interesting cufflink these cufflinks these cufflinks were made from actual game used baseballs <coughs> this the the leather in there i didn't i noticed that they are and they come with a certificate of authenticity it, and the certificate says what teams were playing and what this final score was. Wow. Yeah. Wait, we're going to get some pictures of that. Yeah. Very nice. This is the, the maker of these cufflinks, the maker of these cufflinks is, has a reputation for reclaiming, oh, uh, there they are. Re reclaiming materials that are no longer in use ah. and converting them to cufflinks. And that's leather. I felt that before. The, the baseball in the cufflink is leather. Yes, absolutely. It's leather. Any other uh, items that you, uh, you've you got some with? Uh, These were made from a Pan, Pan Am airplane, no longer used Pan Am. Oh, Pan uh, Am, yeah. But these were actually taken, made from Pan Am airplane wings, oh, salvage. My oh, my goodness sakes, yeah. the salvage. You've we, got some other... We have a... We have a a good display of cufflinks here that are that are very popular. Being here in Illinois, I brought along some of the sport team logo cufflinks. We've got the Cubs. Yeah, we have the Cubs. We we have we have the White Sox. This White is a, this is a pair of cufflinks when the White Sox won the World Series in 2005. That they never thought they were going to win. <laughs> That's right. These cufflinks were made in commemoration. Wait, turn, turn it so there. Wait, turn your hand no, no, that way. There you go. There you go. That's terrific. All right, good, good. That's the white to, socks. To commemorate the World Series. Sure, victory. sure. And of course, the University of Illinois. I have cufflinks here. This is a mortar and pestle pair of cufflinks. These are vintage. From a pharmacy? <laughs> this is from a drug manufacturer, Merck and Company. Oh my God, Merck, yeah. And these cufflinks are from the 1949. Look at that. And wow. it has the. Yeah, he's got it on the, camera. The That's mortar terrific. and pestle. Mortar and pestle. Wow. Cufflink wearers and collectors now sometimes what, specialize. What type of material is that that you've got it? This is really, this is an, uh, made of uh, an alloy. Many alloys make up this cufflink. So that's not uh, bronze it's or not gold precious or metal. no precious it's metal. Not. Okay. But look, for all these years, the condition is excellent. Nothing oh, outstanding, outstanding. Ophthalmologists would enjoy. Oh, those. I saw these that straight away. 
eyeball cufflinks. <laughs> and you could get blue. I suppose you could get brown too if you'd like it. Uh, sure. Brown or hazel, but blue eyes. And there's a large interest in military cufflinks. Yes. This is from the 101st. Pardon me, 82nd Airborne. Airborne. Division. Yep. 82nd Airborne. Here's a pair of cufflinks from 1948. This is. Dutch Delft material. Oh, very nice. And this is a unique cufflink. This is called a wraparound. The chain that you see hanging goes around, goes, the, cuff. It goes around the shirt cuff and then clamps on here and then you lock it that way. So the, you, you're getting more bang for your buck. The, That's beautiful. Yeah, it shows the, the web. Here's, here's a wonderful pair of cufflinks. These are made from mother of pearl, one piece. These cufflinks are from 1897. Mother of Can pearl. Can you see these? Beautiful. Yeah. One piece. You have some on the end over there that have got some glow to it, the brown or the blue. Oh, this it looks here? like stones, yeah. Are, is that like a this topaz? Is, this is topaz. Beautiful. It's not precious, topaz. This is really an imitation. It's beautiful. It is. It's very pretty. It shows very nicely. These are from 1950. Look at that. It's faceted. Oh, it's beautiful. Just beautiful. This is a category of cufflinks, initials. These are H's. These are from 1948. This is mother of pearl. Hold them. Turn, yeah, that's good. That's good. If you just hold him in one position, he'll be able to get it. That's beautiful. Mother of Pearl. Yes. This that's is Scrimshaw. Very interesting pair of cufflinks. Scrimshaw is a category that's very popular among wearers and collectors. Both. Oh, yeah. These are made from whalebone. They don't allow that anymore. Not anymore. No. This is from 1946. If you saw them up close, you could see the slight difference whole, oh. because you have to draw scrimshaw is by hand. Oh, it's all by hand, yes. Otherwise, do they have a machine that does this? Uh, uh, this there are imitation yeah. uh, uh, scrimshaw machines and like for plastic or something you do it uh, but but you can tell the difference if you if you, you know the real carefully. stuff yes 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 here's a very interesting he's gonna come just stand hold it right there and what is that this is called a, a snapper the cufflink separates okay this is a single cufflink so you put it through the shirt cuff the first layer, and you put the other half through the bottom layer, and, and, then, you, and you snap it together. I could. I, Very unique, 1920s. Wait, to hold it just in one location, that's good. Is that's that better? Good. Yeah, that's good. You just hold it one one spot, he'll be able to find you. Uh, and is there a special, you know, mold or something that has to be made with that? These because are no longer snaps? available. They, oh, they, I see. There, there oh, are some mother attempts. Oh, that's Mother of Pearl. That's Mother of Pearl. Yes, yeah. it is. There it's are beautiful. some attempts in recent oh, years to... Oh, that's beautiful. To, that's Mother of Pearl. That's beautiful. To, to reinvent these. That's but beautiful. But the ones from 1920 period are too good. They can't... Can't. Can't. Uh, automobiles. Oh, yeah, it's another for sure. popular area. These are from a Mustang, of course. Uh, yeah, look at that. Oh, he'll find it. Car cufflinks are yeah. available for virtually every kind of car, imagine. Wow. Yeah. Fraternal. This is a Masonic pair of fraternal cufflinks. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Have any Shriners in there? I uh, we have Shriners in the office. I don't have any. Yeah. Here's a pair. Interesting. This is Abacus. This is working. Oh this my. is a working Abacus. It, it the little 
beads move yes. up and down? Yes, Bev, they, they move up and down. Oh, geez. And this is incredible. from a category of cufflinks that are called doers. Doer. Doers is a term that my wife came up with, D-O hyphen E-R. And it, and it means a pair of cufflinks that, besides looking good and fun to wear, can it, perform a function. And it works. Yes, this is a working abacus cufflink. I don't know if you can pick that up, but these little beads move. Wait, he's going to take a close. Oh, that's a good shot there. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's terrific. And on the subject of, of doers, I thought we had a watch with us. Yeah, there are. Yes. It's a black one, yeah. Classic doers. This is working watch cufflinks. Yeah, that not look good. Look at that. And they're accurate. That's beautiful. It is. Here's a pair of cufflinks. Moss agates. Oh, 1879. Oh my, oh my. So are these collectibles for you or can anybody, could they purchase that or? This is from our inventory. Oh, All of yeah. these are inventory. From our inventory. Oh yeah. my goodness sakes. This oh, is a one of a kind. That's beautiful. And on the subject, the back of the cufflinks from different eras are different than they are from the current era. This, as you can see, is not the familiar toggle. Oh, no, look at that. You sometimes call it. These are all functional. Incredible. Here's an interesting pair, too. This is the Electrical Union, their logo. <laughs> Very popular. In, look at that. You know, you wouldn't think, Jean, that uh, the backs of the uh, cufflink would be so different, but it must be the, the timeline or it is. Uh, what was easiest for them to produce at that time. You're absolutely right. I had a pair of... Uh, Oh, here's the presidential seal. Yes. Presidential cufflinks are a whole category of cufflinks for collectors oh, and, and for wearers. There, that's good. Just hold it there. That's beautiful. This particular pair Now, is that made out of any precious metal or there, not? There's no precious metal. Oh, there is a 24 karat gold plate on, on this On the plating. Line. It's a okay, plate. on the plating. This happens to be from a category called presidential cufflinks. These are manufactured to commemorate an, an inauguration. Gene, hold your hand still. <laughs> an an okay. inauguration. Of any kind of a celebration. Yeah. They're given by the presidential uh, candidates oh. to, to people that made major contributions. Oh, how nice. Uh, or did a favor uh, for the campaign and so oh, forth. campaign. Oh, wow. The, these go back to, to Ulysses S. Grant, uh, the, the concept of so-called presidential cufflinks. And the interesting thing here is on the back of the cufflink, there is a facsimile of auto, there's a facsimile autograph of the president. Oh, look at that. This particular pair is autographed Barack Obama, facsimile. Well, look at gray. that. There it is. Are you able to pick that up? Yeah, he was able to pick that up. That was great. We have these for, for the last eight presidents. Uh, now, do people call you for this, or? or they see it on the website, or they call us? They call. Okay. Yeah. There's a um, here's an interesting pair. Same same category of presidential. This is a pair celebrated the inauguration of uh, Pence. Would you have to hold it down there? It said Pence and Trump. Oh wow! Uh, and it follows a custom of every inauguration day, giving cufflinks to cufflinks. The, the presidential party. That's really something. It is. I mean, this is not only 
a wearable, but it's a historical Absolutely. item. Absolutely. I mean, you, you couldn't buy this in a, a jewelry store or a you know, brick and mortar store. I, this is really uh, an item that is uh, li like your, the little abacus. It's yeah. doable, it's wearable. Yeah. It's, uh, we get these from collectors. Terrific. We get these from people who b was, were given a pair hmm. or whatever for performing some service, service. to the campaign. Sure. That's uh, President Trump and... Uh, and Spence. And Pence. Pence. Yeah, Pence. I mentioned people would uh, uh, are interested in, um, you know, uh, hobbies. If they... Uh, equestrian or tennis or uh, golf or whatever I mean um, they you know whether it's or bowling whatever you know your your uh, uh, your hobby might be uh, and uh, to have this is just uh, it's the most unique uh, it's individualized and unique as well you could have it, uh, you know, uh, aircraft, uh, you know, um, pilots or uh, uh, musicians or whatever, you know. Uh, You're mentioning very popular categories for collectors and yeah. for wearers. Yeah. There are collectors that collect only military, military or yeah. only airplanes yeah. or only sports team logos. Sports, yeah. And there are... There, the, Collectors that specialize in various categories, yeah. and there are wearers, people who uh, wear them too. Yeah. Wear exactly, mm. and they too have usually a specialty that they like. Wow, wow! Here's this a is... pair that's very popular for attorneys. One cufflink says guilty, and the other, the other cufflink says not guilty. Not guilty. Well, oh, <laughs> we well, I can see that, and believe me, they can take my word for it. Yeah, that would be good. I'm excited about this stuff. So I, oh, I'm thrilled. Yeah. I am so thrilled that you came because uh, it's. Oh, here's uh, for cards. Look at that. Yeah, that, that's a, that's a doer of sorts. That's it. Is it, it move folds Oh down. my God, it's movable. Yeah. Yes. Oh my goodness sakes! Do you have any aces in there? No, <laughs> no aces. <laughs> You've got. Uh, Jack, probably Jack, King, Queen. You do indeed. Yes. That's exactly what it is, and this is this is movable. Jack, That's King, right. Queen. It's a doer. This is this is a doer. This is terrific. This is beautiful. Take a look at these from the eighteen seventies. These are double sided oh, cufflinks. That's my that's my age grouping. <laughs> <laughs> that's the truth. The double sided cufflinks. So each side of the cuff. Has, has it, yeah. It's decorated. Perfect condition. Oh, they're beautiful. Yeah. They're beautiful. Now, there's where little airplanes. Is that what uh, you've got yes, there? Yes, these are airplanes. Those aren't really three-dimensional. They're just kind of no, flat. No, this is flat. Flat. These are, these, we do have dimensional ones, too. Beautiful. Or figural, as we sometimes yeah. call them. Double wing. Yes. That's beautiful. Biplane, I guess. Biplane. This is interesting. But if you had a propeller on here, they'd just blow me away. <laughs> Gene, it's yeah. terrific. This is interesting. These are manhole cover cufflinks. Oh, good grief. And these cufflinks... The, these cufflinks... Were yes, it's from the water department. <laughs> That's right. St. Louis Water Division. Yeah. Manhole covers. Holy moly. We have these for about 20 American cities. They're terrific. And they really are. I mean, the design is exactly as the manhole cover is. It <laughs> Gene, this is really unique. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. St. Louis Water Division. Yeah. That's incredible. That's incredible. So you see this as an ongoing, I mean, people aren't going to, uh, 
not use uh, cufflinks. And even as you mentioned, I don't think it would be that, you know, prohibitive if you took your shirts into a, uh, you know, a um, uh, dry cleaner uh, and uh, ask them to make the little slit for the thing to, you know, go through. You could take it a step further, and the dry cleaner could put a cuff, a, cuff. a r real cuff on there. You know, until the 1930s, cuffs were separate from the from the body of the shirt. You know, in the pictures, yeah, in the in the old pictures. I love to watch the old pictures uh, from the 30s and 40s and whatever. Uh, they even have the silent pictures on TV now from 1922, uh, 23. Uh, silent before they went uh, the uh, talkies um, and the cuffs and the necks uh, everything you could put your uh, jacket on your coat on and put the cuffs on not even having a sleeve because uh, people just saw the cuff the cuff was what uh, uh, three inches and you know people thought it was a whole shirt yes so uh, a genius of uh, a world of history. This is wonderful. Yeah, thank you. What do you, what do you see in the future for anything? I mean, this this is pretty much mainstay. You know, people have to eat, people have to sleep, people have to drive cars or whatever their mode of transportation. But you know, in this age that we are with the uh, the handheld. Um, uh, super phones and whatever, that's, that changes weekly, monthly. Uh, in a year, you could have gathered uh, three or four because they're so innovative on whatever else they're doing. But this gene is, you're going back to the 18-whatever here, and that's the mainstay of men's cuffs on their shirts. That's right. Anything that women would wear? Women wear the same cufflinks that men wear. Some women prefer a smaller one, but generally women we find are buying this and wearing the same cufflinks that the that the males do. This is a small cufflink. Oh, that's very by pretty. By most standards. That's very but pretty. And, and women, a lot of women do prefer small. Smaller. But a lot of men prefer small too, so it's. Has the cuff changed uh, dramatically on a man's shirt? That would be, I mean, years ago it used to be very high, you know, a very high uh, cuff. Uh, when they put the cuff link in, it was really, you know. They tend to be smaller cuffs smaller, today. Smaller, smaller cuffs. They tend to be, but mm. they're. We do see occasionally a larger cuff. That's that's mm -hmm. terrific, but that's beautiful. That's a very pretty. If any of your viewers, if any of your viewers had a pair of cufflinks that belonged to Grandpa, uh, and they wanted information about the age or, or or any part of that, if if you can you can. Uh, let them know more if they contact your, you know, your... Uh, yes. So what, what, you, have, you have an email here. What would your email be? Uh, if, they, if they would email info at justcufflinks.com. Okay. Info at justcufflinks.com. There's no charge. And no charge. we, as a public service, we do evaluations. And if someone wants to call you... Oh, have you, is there a number they could reach? Yes, the number would be area code 847-816-0075. And, uh, and you're located in Vernon Hills? In Vernon Hills. So that, that's pretty close. That's okay. We don't have a brick-and-mortar store, as you know. Yes. Uh, everything we do is through our website. So um, would people... Uh, uh, say they saw something here and they liked it or something. And uh, so if they went to your um, uh, your uh, website, website, they could see more. Yes, yes, they they, they could see more. Would they be able to get an idea of uh, you know 
size? I mean, is is any of these prohibitive on size? I mean, th these are pretty much regular. But is there what's the most unusual? I mean, is there anything more than uh, two inches? Most people prefer a cuff link in the size of three quarters of an inch to one inch. Yeah. That's generally the, the the parameters of cuff links that people seek. Yeah. Occasionally, from some years, back in the 1920s, for example, cufflinks got very large with prosperity before the crash. Oh. And cufflinks mimic the times. Oh. So when, when the times are good and, and money's flowing, cufflinks and a lot of jewelry gets larger. Oh, yeah. Conversely, in bad times, you see more of the little guys. The little ones, yeah. little ones. But they still wear... Uh, the French cuffs and the cufflinks, though. Absolutely. I mean that that still shows, uh, um, you know, culture it was always a, a good. Uh, you always thought well of someone that had French cuffs. Absolutely, that, that that's still true. It's a way to to distinguish yourself yeah. from the crowd. Oh, indeed, it is. I mean, um, uh, there, I'm even watching now some. Uh, older uh, reruns of Johnny Carson, and uh, he, I was too busy raising my family, I couldn't watch them. I was exhausted by nighttime, so, uh, but I'm watching them now, and they, he had uh, buttons, button uh, cuffs, and then at the latter stages, he was wearing uh, cufflinks, cufflinks, so uh, and that I think w was very uh, looked very prominent. I mean, made him uh, look. I mean, he was was a very very wealthy wealthy man, um, and the cufflinks, you know, with his uh, uh, with his uh, Hollywood stature, you know, his uh, California stature, and uh, his Tonight Show uh, that the cufflinks really. Uh, looked appropriate. The the button kind of made him plain, but once he put uh, the uh, cufflinks on, really made him uh, made him unique. I mean, he yeah. was at that time. You know, Bev, uh, another cufflink that's very popular today are formal wear cufflinks that come huh? cufflinks and four studs. Oh, yeah. For the front of the tuxedo sure. shirt. Sure, yeah. Very popular today. This happens to be a vintage set of them. Oh, yeah. Four studs for the front of the tuxedo shirt. Yep. And then the cufflinks. And this particular pair of cufflinks is double-sided. Oh, so on both sides. Is it? So yeah. on both sides of the cuff. Yeah. These are from 1930, and they're like brand new. Oh, I see that. That's beautiful. Patricia, you're going to have to put these all together. <laughs> he, he pulled them all out, to, but he's doing a beautiful job. He's showing everything, and that's what we want to do. And now, what is, uh, what is this? Tokens this is a very see? interesting pair. These are, this is made from reclaimed salvage from Notre Dame Stadium. Oh, my uh, the, goodness. The college. When they renovated the stadium, uh, the wooden seats. The seats, that sure. They pulled out. The man that made these cufflinks, we didn't make these. The man that made these, oh. though, bought a substantial number of these long wooden planks. Oh, sure. And made, and made these. We have them for 22 stadiums around the country oh. and for a, a large number of colleges, too. Incredible. It's the same company that made the, made from the game ball. The ball game. Oh, my goodness. Again, sakes. reclaimed. Reclaimed from the ball game. And they come with a little certificate of authenticity. I see that. I see that. It's the real McCoy. It on the is. back, it's, what's the stadium on the back that it says? That's Notre the, Dame. Notre Dame. Yeah. Incredible. This is authentic wood from a Notre Dame stadium seat. That's what it says. There it is. I see it. That's a, and it gives a date? Yes. Look at that. 1997. Look at that. Terrific. That's beautiful. 
That's terrific. This is not only my business, it's my passion. Well, uh, <laughs> Gene, it's, uh, evidently you, you show beautiful merchandise, and uh, it's incredible. Uh, each one of these individually represents a, a service provider or uh, a company or a sport or uh, gambling. <laughs> I love this. Jack, King, Queen. This is really <laughs> terrific. This is really, really terrific. And, of course, these, the hot and cold water spigot uh, handles. That's yes. cute. That's, but that's really good. So, um, but if you went into a store now to see if they had anything, would they have this in a store now? I mean, this gives the, the maker or who's providing this, but... If you went into a store to ask for cufflinks, would they have that? Je jewelry stores carry cufflinks. Jewelry stores, yeah. Not, usually not a large variety, with some yeah. exceptions, yeah. but usually not a large variety. So uh, that's, uh, that's terrific. I mean, I, I've enjoyed myself this evening so much with, with all this beauty. It's really beautiful. These, Thank you. They're historical. They're beautiful. And without a doubt, I mean, these are um, just precious, absolutely precious. I'm looking at this. I don't know if we saw this or not. That's an interesting pair because the, the cuffling closure method, it's not the conventional bullet that we're familiar with I today. See. This is called a beanback. The... Um, The back of the cufflink still goes through the shirt and the goes way that we do it today. They're very old. Yeah. But it, uh, is this sterling silver? It looks like it oxidized. It, it, it needs to be. It needs to be polished. It's beautiful though. And that's that a moonstone in there? You can. I think it is a moonstone. It is a moonstone. Very lovely. Very lovely. Very very lovely. Yeah, the sterling silver is lovely, but like I say, when it oxidizes and turns gray, uh, you, you want it polished, so. Yes, Beth, but would you believe that a lot of our customers tell us, don't take off the patina. Oh, they like it. They like the patina. Yeah. And that's why we're reluctant to polish. Yeah, yeah. I mean. Well, antiques, why would you shine up an antique? The whole idea of the antique is to show the age on it. Precisely. You know, it, it shows its beauty that way. That's true. These are, these are remarkable. I mean, um, you enjoy this, Patricia? <laughs> this, is, this, is ex this is very exciting. Um, very, uh, I mean, it piques your interest to, uh, to do this. And um, I would venture to say that uh, um, uh, it would be a good idea. I mean, I'm sure stores still have French cuffs, but uh, you know, if you wanna do it yourself and if you want to, um, oh, your microphone just fell off. You just have to squeeze it to, oh, you, you can, Anyway, well, yeah, that, that'll work. Okay, that's good. Uh, so what do you think about French cuffs and cufflinks for the future? We're, we're in the 21st century. <laughs> well, and um, what, what do you think? I think that cufflinks, like most items of fashion, fluctuate in popularity. In some years, it's true of ladies, ladies jewelry, yeah. it's true with men's and women's garments, styles, ch styles change. Uh, and and so, so is true with cufflinks. And so is true with the popularity of anything. Uh, there's a, there's a, an ebb and flow, uh, but there's there always are a large number of men and women who wear cufflinks day in and day out, regardless of, of what the fashion gurus may say. So, uh, 
if I go online and look for you and uh, look through what of your what uh, you know um, items that you have, I mean, um, I don't have to. Um, I can order what I see. Or, you you uh, can order what you see, and, and uh, it gives a good description of the items that yeah. are there. And it's, it's easy to maneuver the website. That's incredible. I mean, that's. Uh, I don't know what to say, Jean. I'm just. Uh, I'm taken aback by all of this history. This is all history here. Yes. And it's beautiful. And uh, I enjoy it immensely. I mean, these are items that I. Uh, that I uh, either get a kick out of just looking at it, the hot and cold, like you know we mentioned before, uh, or the uh, Jack King Queen on that, and uh, but some of them are just beautiful, style-wise. Um, so the use of cufflinks goes back to the 1600s. People were wearing cufflinks in, in the 1600s, mainly royalty and people of wealth yeah. were wearing them in those days. But as materials became more available, the Industrial Revolution also <coughs> made mass production easier, which made the price available to the common, common people. So your question about Cufflinks' pop popularity, they were popular then and they're popular today. But back then, and I just wanted to throw this in, Cufflinks were sometimes fastened to, to the to the toga or to whatever garment the wearer the wearer had oh, on really? with twigs ribbons vines anything yeah and they they are what preceded cufflinks that we see today oh my goodness um you wouldn't happen to know who the inventor of that was I mean what we are seeing here no. There, there were companies making cufflinks uh, one period of time. There was no mass production of cufflinks oh. until about 1910. Yeah. At that point, again, the Industrial Revolution had much yeah. to do with it. But today, uh, cufflinks are, are capable of mass production. That's... Uh, when the Second World War broke out in, yeah. in 1941, the cufflink makers in this country began making insignias and emblems for the military. Oh, the pins, sure. The pins. And they dropped their cufflink business because the pins were very profitable. The government uh -huh. was buying in vast, Thousands, sure. Sure, vast quantities. Uh -huh. And after the war, everything resumed. Yeah. I'm, I'm taken by the uh, presidential with uh, um, uh, Barack Obama and his signature on the back. Yes. And um, uh, with uh, Vice President Pence and President uh, Trump, his... Uh, you know his insignia for uh, the White House, and uh, you just have so many um, uh, that you've displayed. But I'm sure you must have more. Uh, so if people went online and they could find you at uh, justcufflinks.com. That's right. J u s t cufflinks.com. Just cufflinks.com. Yeah. They could see this. Uh, this is uh, Jean Clumpus, and uh, I, I'm so pleased that you came. Thrilled, pleased is not even the word, thrilled that you came. You must come back again. We will indeed. Thank you for inviting us. Oh, this was a wonderful evening. You and your beautiful bride, absolutely. Just a wonderful evening. And... Uh, do bring us something that you feel might be different than what you have here and uh, something that you feel uh, 
is of historical, some type of historical whatever. I, I think probably the, um, the um, walk on the moon, 50 years, this year is 50 years. I know my son was born when they were walking on the moon, so this I know. I was having a baby and they were on the moon. <laughs> um, and um, uh, just unbelievable, uh, incredible uh, st types, styles, um, professions, uh, but the backs of the, uh, of the uh, cufflinks are uh, unusual and uh, the one that went the wrap around that I I I thought that was very that was very attractive looking. Yes. Um, would a woman wear that or is that just meant for so a man? So we we have women buyers for, for that. That would that that's sure for wrap around. Yeah, the wrap around is just stunning, just stunning. Yeah, very popular, very popular. And you could wear this for any occasion or any. I mean, you, you're really uh, identifying with whatever you're wearing, uh, the eyeballs there, the blue eyeball. Uh, I mean, that could be really uh, for an uh, ophthalmologist, an eye surgeon, or whatever uh, attached. I don't suppose you probably would have a, a leg or a foot, but, you know. We do, indeed. We have do legs. you? Yes, we do. <laughs> Gene? We do. We have legs and we have feet. Oh, okay. We, we have reins, we have oh, good and grief. virtually every category imaginable. That's uh, incredible. That's we inc do. And we have caduceus. Oh, uh, for the medical, sure. And, and every sports team you see here, we have them for the entire league, not just oh. the local Illinois. Uh, same with the presidential assortment. We have going back presidents for back decades. Decades. Oh, my goodness sakes, my goodness sakes. We also have the FBI, the CIA, the Secret Service. Well, people would be afraid of that. They didn't know if there'd be a little microphone yeah, in there or not. Could be. You know, uh, they might think there's a microphone. Here, talking to my cufflink, <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, beautiful. They're, they're stunning. They're beautiful. They're historic. They're delightful, as you are. And... Uh, we appreciate you coming on. So Thank you for inviting me. It's been my pleasure. It's been my pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Have a pleasant evening, a very safe week. Uh, I want to thank uh, Gene and his lovely bride coming out on their 25th wedding anniversary to be here to show us their lovely wares. And uh, uh, have a pleasant evening, a very safe week. Enjoy yourself. And we'll see you next week on North Shore Live, Cooper's Corner. Thank you for watching. Good evening.